Hello friends. In today's video, we are going to look into a opposite of what I showed in yesterday's video. Link is in the description about yesterday video, where we use transparency and conditional formatting to hide the visuals until a value is selected in the slicer. In today's video, we are again going to use conditional formatting and transparency. In this case, we are going to show a message to the user when a visual does not have any data to show. For example, you have a bar chart and showing the sales by month and users select a certain period in a slicer and that period does not have the sales. Then the visual will go blank. Instead of being in a blank visual, what we will do is we will show the message to the user that based on your selection, there is no data to show. I wrote a blog post on this a few months ago, which I will put in the description of this video. But uh, in this video, we will create this solution uh, from start to end and go step by step. It's going to be a short video, more or less the what I showed yesterday. A lot of those measures will come handy here. Do watch part one, and this is part two of yesterday's video. Let's get to Power BI and take a look at it. Here we have a Power BI report uh, with a simple bar chart and a slicer for the date. As we, um, you know, to a selection, uh, of course, the visual changes. Now, what I'm trying, going to show in this video is when the visual go blank, uh, based on our selection, instead of being in a blank visual, we can show a message to the user that a um, your selection, uh, based on selection, visual is blank or whatever message we want to show. Um, so first thing we will do, we will create a, a measure um, for what we want to show as a message. user message and we can call it okay so that's simple message uh, what we want to show now let's put it in a KPI here and uh, turn off uh, category label. So just uh, this is what it is. And now what we can do here is we can add a color um, with the transparency based on the based on the sales value. So what we can do here is add another measure. So maybe call it a message color and give it a I have a color uh, which is red D64550 and let's say we have this message color we can set this as a conditional formatting for our uh, our KPI let's go into data label and then pick field value message color which we just created okay so this is a red uh, color which is the hex code now what we will do here is in message color we will add the transparency code which is 0 0 100 percent transparent based on the sales and the sales is a sum simple sum measure let's put the sales measure in uh, KPI here just to take a look at what does that shows that is like 240 like if we go uh, select a range which does not have a sale it goes blank it means when the sales is blank based on our selection we show this message so no transparency at that time we show the color the message but if there is a sales if there is a value then we want this to go 100% transparent so that the message does not show up so in the 
a message color which we created a measure before what we can do here is we can concatenate our logic if not is blank if the sales measure is not blank then add the transparency code because we don't want to see the message otherwise don't do anything now if we look at this message disappeared the reason it disappeared because there is a sales if I change it to um, this blank value and the message shows up so this is working as expected now from here it is very simple we will drag this on top of our visual here if there are more than one visual uh, we will put it on top of that and one important thing as I did said in the previous video as well in the view in the selection pane we want our card this message kpi card to be behind everything uh, at the end so that it does not we we can we can click the visual now it is on the back and if we switch the message we cannot see because it is behind this visual what we need to do is change the background of our visual to be transparent what we turned it off basically so in this scenario now we our message is not showing up because there is a sales and of course we don't want to see the message but when we have no sales our visual goes blank and the message shows up change selection to see data so now whatever message you want to show so with transparency and the layer uh, to make sure that your card visual is at the end um, so that it's behind your visual and we can control when to show the message when not to show the message the only thing what we are doing is in conditional formatting we are adding a transparency color that zero zero value to our color based on the uh, value of the sales measure if it is blank then don't add transparency if it is not blank it means there is a sales value then add the transparency code because we don't want to see the um, message it's a short video a small trick i i hope uh, you will able to use it um, somewhere in your report and one point point i want to add here is um, when you are selecting a range and your visual is showing up the visual is clickable it is not that you cannot click the visual because our message is behind the visual um, anyhow subscribe to my channel um, and i will put the link of my blog post which i wrote on this and also the link to my previous video on uh, transparency and conditional formatting until next video have a good day Bye for now.